หนึ่งในนักการทูตต่างประเทศที่เป็นเป้าของการวิพากษ์วิจารณ์ของกลุ่มกอปปสผู้ประท้วงรัฐบาลคือท่านเอกอัครราชทูตสหรัฐประจำประเทศไทยคริสตี้เคนนี่ถึงกับมีการไปเดินขบวนที่หน้าสถานทูตมีการเขียนป้ายและมีการยื่นหนังสือว่าท่านทูตนั้นมีท่าทีเป็นอคติต่อฝ่ายผู้ประท้วงหรือเปล่าหรือว่ามีสองมาตรฐานในความเห็นเพราะว่าที่ยูเครนมีการประท้วงแต่ดูเหมือนว่ารัฐบาลสหรัฐอยู่ข้างผู้ประท้วงต้องการที่จะโค่นรัฐบาลของประธานาธิบดีวิกเตอร์ยานูโกวิชแต่ที่เมืองไทยนั้นดูเหมือนว่าท่าทีของสหรัฐที่แสดงผ่านท่านทูตคริสติเคนนี่นั้นไม่เห็นด้วยกับฝ่ายประท้วงไม่เคารพในสิทธิ์ของการรวมตัวกันประท้วงอย่างสันติแน่นอนครับว่าหลายคนมองว่าสหรัฐนั้นอาจจะต้องเอาใจรัฐบาลไทยเพราะว่ามีวาระซ่อนเร้นบางประการวาระซ่อนเร้นนั้นเป็นอะไรอย่างไรและจริงไหมที่ทูตคริสติเกนนี่มีความรู้สึกว่าเอียงข้างรัฐบาลของนายกรัฐมนตรียิ่งลักษณ์มากกว่าที่จะเข้าใจบทบาทของการประท้วงของกอปปสคำถามเหล่านี้แหละครับที่ก่อนหน้านี้มีข่าวถึงขั้นที่ว่าจะมีการย้ายทูตและมีการเปลี่ยนทูตสหรัฐเพราะว่ามีคนไม่พอใจการทำหน้าที่ของทูตสหรัฐประจำประเทศไทยคำถามเหล่านี้คนไทยต้องการถามท่านทูตฉะนั้นผมจึงถือโอกาสไปจับข่าวถามคำถามตรงๆเหล่านี้ครับฟังให้ดีครับว่าท่านทูตตอบคำถามทุกคำถามเรื่องอคติสองมาตรฐานจะถูกย้ายและมีวาระซ่อนเร้นอะไรหรือเปล่าในสิ่งที่ได้แสดงออกมาและท่านทูตเองได้พูดอะไรทำอะไรหรือจึงทำให้บางคนเชื่อว่าท่านทูตมีมาตรฐานสองมาตรฐานในกรณีการเมืองของไทยวันนี้ Some people complain that the United States has double standards in Ukraine in Thailand In Ukraine, you see a very clear support for the protesters, mm -hmm. the anti-government side. In Thailand, they say that it is clear that you, or the United States government, is on the government side. You do not express enough support for the right to protest in Thailand, but you've done that in Ukraine openly. Is Is that fair? I, I don't think it's fair. First of all, I would never compare Ukraine and Thailand. Uh -huh. Very different situation. Thailand, uh -huh. an independent nation, uh -huh. never colonized. You know, mm -hmm. not like Ukraine, a fairly newly independent nation, really mm -hmm. trying to figure out their role vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis Russia. Mm -hmm. And as you and I know, and I know you've got Kuntepchai on scene. <laughs> yeah, yes, in the Black Sea yeah, today. <laughs> good for him. Well, fantastic. Uh -huh. But you know, very different situation. But you haven't shown the same kind of public support for the protesters here as you've done in Ukraine. That's, every, every, that's the issue. You know, but every country is different. This mm -hmm. isn't Ukraine. It shouldn't be Ukraine. You don't no, want to be Ukraine. No, I'm not talking about Ukraine, Thailand. I'm talking but, about the standard practice. But our standard practice, and we've done that here, is to, as we have done. Vocally express our support mm -hmm. for the peaceful right to protest, mm -hmm. and we've done that in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. In Ukraine, we also expressed our concern mm -hmm. at the occupation of public properties, at the violence. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think there are some similarities, but these are very different countries, very different situations. You don't want to be treated in a cookie cutter way. This is a special relationship. I know, but uh, the comparison is on the fact that. The president of Ukraine at the time was also elected. Here, the prime minister says she's been elected. So, mm -hmm. the st standard mm -hmm. uh, measurement is the same. The United States saying in Thailand you respect an elected government. Mm -hmm. In Ukraine, the elected government was the target of the protest of an mm -hmm. overthrow attempt, but the United States was on the side of. The anti-government uh, group. How do you explain that? But the situations are different. Mm -hmm. You know, Ukraine, as I said, really trying to figure out their relationship via a former colonizer. Mm -hmm. uh, vast complications with citizens 
who were not being given opportunities to be heard. Mm -hmm. You know, in Thailand, we've supported the peaceful right to protest. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, while it's been a really difficult multiple months, mm -hmm. there have been important issues raised. Mm -hmm. And that's good. There can be good in a democracy. You know, people on all sides of the political spectrum here have brought issues to light. Uh, Secretary John Kerry has mm -hmm. issued statements on Thailand as mm -hmm. well. One of them was about the fact that election is not the only factor in a democracy. Other issues as well. Checks and balances and all this. Is that how you stand here too? Yeah, he, you know, that statement was actually in response to some reporters' questions more globally. Yeah. But, you, uh, but I think he's been quite clear. You know, democracy is more than elections. Yeah. It's strong mm -hmm. institutions, mm -hmm. transparency, rule of law, mm -hmm. independent judiciary. Mm -hmm. But elections are an important part of democracy. Mm -hmm. They're not the only part, mm -hmm. but they're a very important part. Mm -hmm. In fact, the PDRC is saying that reform must come before election. Do you agree with that? I hope you're not trying to make me take sides here, No, Kun no, Chai. just oh, we are talking sounds about... Sounds a little bit like it. No, no, we're no, talking... But you know, I think, Kun Chai, let me say, I, I don't think we have the recipe. Again, these are important you issues don't have recipe? that people are talking uh -huh. about. Uh -huh. And, you know, as we just said, democracy includes a lot of factors. Mm -hmm. It includes, you know, rule of law. It includes an independent judiciary, strong institutions of democracy the right to peaceful protest, mm -hmm. you know, human rights protections, and it includes elections too. Mm -hmm. And these are important issues being talked about by Thailand. Mm -hmm. Elections are, mm -hmm. in any democracy, mm -hmm. an important way for all citizens mm -hmm. to express their views, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to vote for how they wish to be governed. Mm -hmm. But as I said, these are important issues Thailand is talking about now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it is our hope that all of those who are genuinely interested can can have a peaceful dialogue mm -hmm. and find a way forward that mm -hmm. you know, strengthens this democracy. So you will be here until at least the end of the year? That's, that's the current mm. So all the rumors are untrue? That's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. did, did that disturb you? I was, I was more surprised. Mm -hmm. that it, you that, said, what did I do wrong? Did you ask yourself? Well, I don't know. Being ambassador to Korea was an interesting rumor. Yeah, Korea? <laughs> Not a bad country? <laughs> important ally of the United States as well. Uh -huh. But no, I was mostly sort of Mm -hmm. Surprised mm -hmm. that. Not angry, not mad. No, you know, I've tried not to take any of this mm -hmm. personally, but much more in the spirit of why would mm -hmm. where a U.S. ambassador goes matter? But you see, in the social media at that time, when those rumors started, mm -hmm. a lot of people said, good, she should go, you know? I was quite surprised that. Uh -oh. There was this, this very negative feeling about oh, you. I yeah. didn't see that. I'm sorry you told me. Yeah, I was checking and I, I was surprised that there was this wave of anger, you hmm. know, whether it's reasonable or not, hmm. about you saying that, oh, it's good, she goes, good news, this sort of thing. Wow. Well, yeah. So uh -oh. but perhaps you want to look into it and <laughs> <laughs> find out why all this thing. As you say, it's a very emotional time. Hmm. So people get upset yeah. very easily about things. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's interesting for me as a social phenomenon yeah. that uh, there's no obvious reason given mm -hmm. about why they think you should go, but so, yeah, she does not support our attempt to reform the country, she does not like yeah. the protesters, she is too much for the government, these sort of feelings. Wow. So, but I know you're trying to, wow. trying to explain that, you know, you are not taking sides and that you have tried to remain professional, right? Professional diplomat. That would be mm. a good description. That's right. Well, I'm trying to yeah. think for you. Well, thank that. you. I, no, I appreciate it. <laughs> but you know, it also shows not just emotion, but you know, there, there are so many ways now for people to express opinions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. via social media, mm -hmm. you know, via traditional media. So I think you do see a lot more voices mm -hmm. and a lot more people that's expressing right. views. That's I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. The Ukraine thing mm -hmm. has you know, captured a lot of attention mm -hmm. uh, around the world, but it's also very interesting for me that the United States will be very busy with Ukraine, Crimea, 
and what Russia is going to do, how would that affect Obama's policy towards Asia? Some people say, oh, it's going to take up a lot of attention, time, and energy of President Obama. So his pivot to Asia policy might suffer. You think that is a fair assessment? I don't think that's a fair assessment. I think Ukraine is obviously important, and mm -hmm. you know you've you've had your team on the ground mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. reporting, but also you've seen our European friends and allies discussing Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But you know, just today, President Obama met with the Chinese Premier yes. at the Nuclear Security Summit. Mm -hmm. Talk not just Ukraine, but a whole range of Asia issues. Mm -hmm. And as I said, we'll have the president out in the region mm -hmm. next month and a few more times later this year. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I, I think all of our nations these days can work on a lot of issues at once. Mm -hmm. But the president's been really clear. Asia mm -hmm. matters to him. Mm -hmm. Secretary of Defense Haeckel is meeting with all the Asian defense ministers, ASEAN defense ministers, mm -hmm. next week. Mm -hmm. Secretary Kerry has been here five times already in yes. his mm -hmm. year plus in office. But not in Thailand yet. Not yet in Thailand. So, so you, that's you a still, still have, to be scheduled. You still have your mission. Exactly. Right. We've had the president here, but not <laughs> yes. Secretary Kerry. So uh -huh. we, we definitely want to get him. Mm -hmm. Back to the uh, pivot to Asia policy, sure. there have been reports that the American government has been building or seeking permission to use bases in the Philippines, in Vietnam, and also perhaps in Thailand. Is that true or not? The only place we are working on an access agreement is the Philippines. Yes, access we, agreement. It's called an access agreement. Meaning? So it would be, well, they would not be bases. They would not be they bases, would be, no. It's being negotiated with the Philippines. It would be Philippine bases, but we would negotiate an expanded access. Uh -huh. So you might see one of our ships mm -hmm. quite often mm -hmm. at a Philippine Navy mm -hmm. base. Yes. You might see some aircraft on the ground, depending on how the negotiations come out. Mm -hmm. We are not currently negotiating. The, I know we're not with Thailand. No. I don't think we are with Vietnam. I think the only mm -hmm. ASEAN country with whom we're having this discussion. So it's the Clark Air Base in the Philippines? You know, I don't know specifically mm -hmm. which ones. Because I it was seen. used before by the American It was, and it's now Air a Force. Philippine mm -hmm. uh, air air facility, Air Force facility. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the actual specifics of the negotiations. Mm -hmm. But in Thailand, there have been no talks about access to bases here? No, you know, we have all of our regular exercises. Yes. So mm -hmm. you have U.S. military through here, we just finished our annual air exercise. Yes. Mm -hmm. In which, you know, U.S. aircraft. But do you have access? Do you have access to Thai bases, air bases, if you need? Uh, we'd have to ask. You have to ask. But, for example, in Cyclone Nargis, mm -hmm. in the relief operations for Cyclone Nargis or Aceh, yes. the relief, mm -hmm. tsunami, mm -hmm. we asked Thailand, who agreed to have U.S. and other aircraft and Navy come in to help out with relief efforts. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. we staged some of the Cyclone Nargis mm -hmm. relief efforts mm -hmm. out of Thailand mm -hmm. facilities. So we would ask mm -hmm. if we needed, if there were a natural disaster. But you're not seeking a more permanent sort of we agreement. We aren't. We aren't. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. who knows? What Vietnam? Do. As best I know, we're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, again, maybe uh, there's mm -hmm. something I don't know. I'm not the U.S. ambassador <laughs> to Vietnam. <laughs> But I don't think so. The Philippines, we definitely are discussing this access. Uh -huh. Because there was this speculation when they criticized you for taking side with the government mm -hmm. was that the Americans were asking for an agreement to have access to one of the Thai bases here. So that's why you need to please the government so that you would find it easier in the negotiations. No yeah, basis at all? No negotiations, no negotiations for bases in Thailand. Mm -hmm. I, again, this has been a time of emotions and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. rumors, and <laughs> sometimes social media doesn't help that. No. Because to spread you, the you can emotion. spread a rumor without a thoughtful investigation. Mm -hmm. But no, we don't have any discussions mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. you know, bases, basing mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. Thailand. และนี่คือไทม์ไลน์สุทธิชัยหยุนทุกวันอาทิตย์หนึ่งทุ่มครับจะเป็นการวิเคราะห์ข่าวร้อนๆ้อนทั่วโลกจะมีการเชิญเอานักข่าวรุ่นใหม่มาวิเคราะห์สถานการณ์รอบตัวเรากับผมเพื่อจะได้มีมุมมองของคนรุ่นต่างวัย
ที่ทำหน้าที่มองข่าวกระแสในประเทศต่างประเทศเหตุการณ์ที่เกิดขึ้นรอบโลกที่มีผลกระทบต่อไทยและเหตุการณ์ที่คนไทยสนใจแน่นอนครับว่าผมก็จะไปสัมภาษณ์บุคคลที่ท่านผู้ชมต้องการจะตั้งคำถามต้องการรู้ว่าเขาคิดอย่างไรและผลกระทบที่มีต่อประเทศไทยจากทั้งภูมิภาคและระดับสากลฉะนั้นไทม์ไลน์สุทธิชัยหยุ่นก็แปลว่าเป็นการเจาะลงไปถึงเวลาจังหวะโอกาสและความน่าสนใจของเหตุการณ์บ้านเมืองในทุกแง่ทุกมุมหนึ่งทุ่มคืนวันอาทิตย์ทางเนชั่นทีวีครับอย่าพลาดนะครับ